All right, now we will be doing muscle energy for an anteriorly rotated and dominant dysfunction. We will be doing this time in the lateral recumbent position, which is excellent in the case of a pregnant patient or in someone who can't lay on their back. Uh, we've already diagnosed our patient with a left-sided and dominant dysfunction, so we have the left side up so we can treat that. For this, I will be lifting their left leg and moving it up. I will then put it on my thigh and I will monitor their SI joint until I feel movement. With my other hand, I will be holding up their leg and I will be, be able to assess their tight quadriceps muscle, which is likely the cause of their anteriorly rotated phenomenon. Once I feel motion at the SI joint, I will instruct the patient, can you move your, try to push your leg down into my thigh? And I'll do this for one, two, three, four, five seconds, relax. And relax for one, two seconds, and then we move it until I feel motion at the SI joint again. Can you push down again? two, three, four, five, relax. You can feel his quadriceps muscles relax. I'll wait and then I will move it further up into the dysfunction. Keep pushing a little bit harder this time. I want about five pounds of force, not too much, but I do want to be able to feel it. And relax, one, two. We'll do this for three to five cycles. I will do a fourth cycle and then we'll move them back. Can you push down one more time? One, two, three, four, Five. Relax. One, two. Now we'll do a passive stretch at the end. And then I will move your leg back down. You just relax. And then I will reassess.